Hello everybody and welcome to another Weathering Waves video. Today I'm going to be going over how you can get a big head start in Weathering Waves before the game even releases. The way you want to do that is you want to go to the Weathering Waves page, you want to log in, and you want to click on the web event that is currently going on. When you click on the web event that is currently going on, it's going to take you to a screen that looks like this. And then, yeah, it's, it's right here. Get 5 star echoing claim asteroids. This is the main homepage, almost 25 million uh, registers. Uh, it's going to take you to this page. It's not going to have this locked in, but it's going to be empty. You're going to want to go to your missions. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to complete these very, very easy missions. On top of that, um, you can get right here. It says remaining attempts. Uh, you can scan five other uh, you, five times a day. You can scan other players shared echoes and um, that's how you can get echoes that way. Or you can, you know, get these attempts, and then these attempts are basically summons for you to summon your own echoes. Now, here are the echoes that I currently have. Uh, green is the worst, blue is the second worst, purple is the third worst, and then obviously gold is the best. So you want to go for gold no matter what. Nobody should be doing anything but gold. I don't know what you would ever be thinking to go anything but gold. Uh, that would be weird. Uh, but this is definitely going to be what's best for you guys. Uh, there are a lot more golds than this. Uh, as you can see, I don't have them all unlocked um, because I just did this today and I've only used, you know, five of my attempts. Now, what I meant by the attempts, by the way, and uh, scanning other people's echoes to have a chance to get it for yourself. Right here on the official Weathering Waves page, you can go down here to the Echo Web Event, Weathering Waves Echoes Web Event. And then you can basically click on any of these say I want to summon a five star cyan feather feathered heron I want that uh, I want that echo now basically what echoes are are pieces of gear in the game it's very similar to relics in Honkai Star Rail or in Genshin Impact or just artifacts in Raid Shadow Legends things like that um, and then yeah you, it would open up this page right here there's 10 of these remaining to be given out and then you can scan this code Right? And not only does the player who sent the code get credit and get some pulls on their account for sharing it, um, as you can see by the missions right here, share one Echo gift card, share two Echo gift cards, and invite friend. So not only do they get some, some credit and some pulls, but also you will have a chance, I'm not sure what the exact percentage, to get this exact card on your account. It's very, very good. Especially if you're only really looking for one card in particular, you know exactly what you want and you're going for it. Just... Use all your attempts on that exact thing, lock it in, and you're good. Um, the way you would figure, the way you would find out what is the one that you want to go for personally is you would go here. That's right. So this YouTube video, <laughs> and you would go to um, whatever characters you like. You just look at what they are because these echoes, these are the echoes that you can get in the game, right? These are the echoes right here. Um, Flautus, Flautus, Spearback, Spearback um chasm guardian these are all different echoes the cyan feathered heron is the one that i chose i'm just gonna show i'm just gonna tell you guys about the one that i chose and why i chose it and then hopefully that'll help you guys make your decision so i chose the the uh the cyan feathered heron because it coincides with characters that i like this is jian um well, i have their names pulled up because i don't remember exactly off the top of my head all their names uh, Jian Jianzin, uh, Jian Zin, uh, Yang Yang is the girl with the blue hat, and then down here the yellow, that element is the rover. So that's the female and male rover. Um, the rover is not like it is in Honkai Star Rail Genshin Impact. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. The rover in uh, Weathering Waves, if I'm to be cor if I'm to be told correctly, if the videos I've seen are not just yapping. And giving actual good information but the rover is very very good and is actually a really strong character so it's it's not horrible and like obviously you're guaranteed to get the rover there's other free-to-play characters that you get through the story but obviously you're guaranteed to get the rover so it's never a bad choice i chose the cyan feathered heron because i really like jian and uh jian zin uh those those two are incredible characters and i think yang yang would be pretty cool too um, and then Rover, it guarantees. Uh, yeah, so basically, these Echoes have elements. And then the elements, the, the characters of those elements can equip them, can equip the Echoes 
based off if the echo matches their element. So that's what decides it. But all the echoes do have different things that they can do in the game. Um, but I believe that, it, and let me just be honest, all right? I have definitely seen a trend looking in the chats of people talking in the actual Discord and stuff like that, um, where people are talking about what they're pulling. Um, a lot of people are going for the Cyan Feathered Heron. I've, I've definitely seen most people go for that. Um, if you want to pause the video here or whenever I'm zoomed in to see which one lines up with the characters that you want to choose, uh, I would suggest you do that. Um, I was going to pick Flottest, and then I realized that Flottest is the two special banner characters that are coming out. So if you end up getting really unlucky, um, you might not even be able to use it. And then on top of that, um, I would say a problem with it is most likely even if you do get one, you're only going to get one. And that's good if you want to power them up. Uh, I definitely really like the second I like both of them a lot. Uh, I like Calcharo. Oh, no. Calcharo is not uh, the banner character. Xi'an is the banner character. That's right. If I'm not completely talking out of my ass and mistaken, I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. Okay. So if you want to pick uh, Calcharo, that's good. You can, you can do that. And then you can take Flottus. That's what I was going to take before this, like I said. Um, but I ended up going with Cyan Feathered Heron because it also covers characters that I really like. And, you know, the rover is a safe bet because everyone's going to get the rover. And the rover is actually really good in Weathering Waves. Um, let me think if there's anything I forgot to mention. Missions, you do them to get pulls for yourself. You also have five attempts a day to scan the QR code of the links in the Discord that I showed you guys from other players. Um, oh, okay, this. This is the last thing. Uh, for however many you collect, uh, if you collect up to 30, you will get all of these chests. You have, you have these chests that unlock like every six, right? Yeah, six. Ones that you, every six echoes that you collect. And then you can get all of these rewards that will also unlock and be in your mailbox whenever you start weathering waves. Um, basically, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the whole thing. This runs until the 6th of June. So this actually does run for like, two or two and a half weeks after the game officially releases. So if people are a little late, they can definitely do it. But I would suggest to pre-register for the game. You do get a lot of uh, rewards for just simply clicking pre-register. If you plan on playing this game, that is a very, very good idea. Something crucial I believe you should do. Um, uh, something I should note, it says it right here, but just in case you miss it, uh, whenever you do select your Echo or your, your, uh, your gear piece, is basically what the echoes are if you didn't hear me earlier um once you select the echo that you want that you want to appear in your mailbox it will appear in your mailbox once you've reached uh like main character or trailblazer level if you play honkai star rail level eight so very very early into the game you will get a legendary piece of gear and that will definitely help you with your progression the people who complete this web event are going to be way farther and way stronger in the early game of the Weathering Waves and are going to be able to push content that's above, you know, above their level at the time. And they're going to be able to, to do things that you shouldn't be able to that, you know, you might be limited to if you didn't grab the rewards from this web event. So, yeah. Uh, sorry. I'm not the most best well-spoken guy. Uh, but hey, I wanted to talk to you guys about this. Um, I didn't make a script. I was just like, I want to talk about this with everybody, make sure they know what's going on because I want to help you guys out. And I hope to see you in Weathering Waves. I cannot wait till this game comes out. This is definitely my, like, I am so excited for this game. I'm more excited for this game than anything uh, coming out soon. It's coming out in 19 days, 19 days from the time of recording this. So probably about five or six days sooner, depending on when this releases. So yeah, peace.